So my name is Darlene Hurd as an agent under the direction and supervision of the trustee or substitute trustee identified in a particular notice of sale. Pursuant to NCGS 45, I'm here to sell property at public auction by the powers given to the trustee under power of sale in the foreclosure proceeding. Neither agent, the note holder or servicer, including their respective parents, subsidiaries, or affiliated entities, nor any of their respective directors, members, manager, employees, agents, or representatives, collectively the parties, make any representations or warranties as to the accuracy or completeness of any information provided, included but not limited to the condition of the property, condition of title, or descriptions of any property sold today. Any information, documents, and or pictures provided by auction.com are for informational purposes only and may not accurately describe or depict the property or the condition of the property at the time of sale. No party makes any representations or warranties concerning the accuracy of this information which has been obtained from a variety of sources and has not been independently verified. The posting of pictures on any website does not constitute a guarantee or representation by the parties that the correct property is pictured or that any items depicted in the pictures, such as air conditioning units, fixtures, etc., will be present when a winning bidder takes possession of the property. All sales are subject to the current occupancy status of the property. At the conclusion of crying the notice of sale, I shall enter an opening bid on behalf of the note holder. I shall entertain higher bids in increments of at least $100. I'm sorry. Per statute, I shall require the high bidder to post a deposit of 5% of the successful bid amount for $750, whichever is greater, in cash or certified funds, preferably certified funds. If the higher bidder fails to present the funds in the proper amount and form, property shall be immediately reoffered for sale. Please also be advised that all confirmed third-party bidders will be responsible for paying the excise taxes on their purchase. The validity and finality of the sale is subject to a final determination that a proper bankruptcy case has not been filed, which would stay the sale and that all notices to the Internal Revenue Service of existing federal tax liens which affect the title have been timely and properly given. For each property, the clerk of the Superior Court may receive upset bids following the sale in accordance with Chapter 45 of the North Carolina General Statutes.